What is up, guys? This is Henry here, and thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack that like button. I really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new. Welcome. Click that notification bell. Check out my description below and go follow me on my social medias. And if you want to support the channel, you can do so via PayPal, Cash App, or you can go and check out my merch store and pick you up some merchandise. Anyway, back to the video. Now, will silver and gold ever be, you know, confiscated? And when I'm being by confiscated, will it be, uh, you know, will the governments take it away from us, basically? Now, my answer to that question is they can try, but before I, I get into that, um, I'm going to put this up for so you guys can read it with me. Um, they've done it before, guys. I didn't know about this until I looked it up. Um, so basically, what you see in here, on August the 9th, 1934, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt implemented the seizure of all silver situated in the continental United States with Executive Order 6814 requiring the delivery of all silver to the United States for coinage. Executive Order um, 6814 closely mirrors Executive Order 6102, which FDR signed on April the 5th of 1933, forbidding the hoarding of gold coin, gold bullion, and gold certificates within the continental United States with some differences. A key difference was that Executive Order 6814 excluded the seizure of all silver coins, whether foreign or domestic, while Executive Order 6102 only exempted from seizure certain types of collectible or numismatic coins so basically yeah <laughs> they wanted your silver to make more you know 90 percent junk constitutional silver right quarters half dollars and, and dimes now uh fast forward to 2022 um if biden ever signed in some crap like this similar to this um i think the government would have a very hard time of trying to even thinking about going to house to house to confiscate shit. Because we got the internet nowadays, information can be spread very fast. And I don't think the government want that problem. Like the the citizens are on like like thin ice when it comes to the government. Like we're very like close to like all out Second Amendment action, if you know what I'm talking about. So I doubt Biden or whoever in the future will do it, but hypothetically, if they do, they're going to have a hard, very hard time of people complying. Yes, some people will if they offer cash, you know, nasty fake money, you know, in return, which a lot of people do tend to flip their silver for uh, cash and they use that cash to buy more silver. And that's how they keep doing it, like back and forth with the flipping. Like, like right now, silver is it's going up, guys. It's twenty three bucks. A dollar is um going down and down because you know obviously all this stuff that's going on, and that's why you've seen a jump of uh, precious metals in the stocks as well. Uh, anyway, guys, I didn't want to make this video too long. Let me in the com comments below if you think that the government will ever um, confiscate uh, our precious metals, like. Honestly, if they, if they try some shit, guys, I, like, I highly doubt any sheriff or police, well, it'd probably be a few that would try to enforce it, but the federal government, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. It's going to be a lot of bloodshed. It's basically it's taking away your guns, basically, when it comes to precious metals. It's not going to happen. They can try to pass a assault weapon ban. Now I'm going off topic. Here we go with the rants. But the majority of the U.S. population that owns firearms would not comply. It would be mass uncompliance going on in this country. And it's going to 
bring a country to the verge of civil war. And I know no one wants that. The government don't want that. They act like they that they, they want it where they can weed off you know the leaders and um the people who has the biggest voice and they'll um control you after they do that. They'll they'll get control over you. Similar to what's going on in China right now, which I feel bad for those people. But it is what it is. Like if we don't fight for our rights, they're like muscles. Um, you know, they'll go away if we don't exercise our rights. So please exercise your your rights because, you know, they're here and it seems like people really don't care about their rights nowadays and it's sad. But anyway, um again, guys, let me know in the comments below about the main topic here. And um I appreciate everyone for tuning in. Um I got more coin videos on the way. I'm close to 100 ounces of silver. Oh my god. I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I got some good stuff since my 63 ounce video. Oh yeah, I got some good stuff. Like those um those notes, those dollar silver certificates right there. Um someone gift those to me. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna even think about selling those either. Like I I, I don't plan on selling my precious metals all in all. I want to keep them and I want to preserve my wealth with them. And um I do have a little bit of crypto and all that, but the shit that FTX did or wherever his name is, let me know in the comments below because I don't care about that scumbag. I know he stole money. I know he stole billions of dollars from the average show. And I think people is going to start hoarding silver and gold and premiums are going to continue to go up and up and up and up hopefully spot goes up too now the time for stacking um at a good discount is running out guys the time for it is running out and get it while it's still cheap because it is still cheap compared to what the true price of silver is so get it pace yourself don't break yourself Anyway, I'm, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, hope you guys uh, stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Get prepared. Carry a gun. And start stacking. And as always, have a nice day. Take it easy, guys.